Hey tech fans, this is Kelly Basie here with another week of the Gem Factor. Wait for it. Bam! Gems. Every week. We're excited. Are you excited? I am. So, what's the Gem Factor, you ask? Well, great question. Gem Factor is when we talk about one job, but we rank it on a series of gems or reasons on why you want to quit your current job for this job. And believe me, this job's a goodie. This one you want to stick around to hear about. So, uh, you know, why, why are you watching this? Well, um, maybe I've been trying to call you or somebody else from my office has been trying to call you and you refuse to pick up your phone. Okay, okay, but you're working. I understand you can't pick up your phone. Well, at least pick it up and say, I'm working. Call me back at this time, you know, and give me your cell phone number. <laughs> Just kidding, but uh, really. Or, um, you know, you're getting this because you've, hey, you're happy in your job, and we've talked to you, you're happy in your job, but you may know other people, and you should pass it on because we have referral bonuses. Really, we do. Um, you won't get it unless you pass it on and help us find somebody. Um, or you just are a nice person and you care about what the tech world is going on, you know, what's going on in the tech world, especially within Cleveland, so might as well hear about the good news and then share it again. So. All that being said, we're going to jump into the job. You should stick around and listen to it because it really is. It's something exciting to listen to. Okay, so this week's gem, job, I should say. Woo! Senior Quality Assurance Analyst. All right, you QAs, listen up. So this is what you need for this job as it relates to a tech stack. Five years, five years in leading test plans and cases. So maybe you've been consulting for a number of years and you're finally like in the last several projects becoming that lead and that point person. Well, this is a job for you. This is full time and they need somebody that's really going to help create these test plans and cases for the rest of their peers and even for maybe a bunch of contractors as well. Maybe you've been working in mobile testing for the last several or you've dabbled in it and it's about time you want to get really hands on into it. Well, this is the perfect role. They need somebody with mobile experience and iOS and Android, not just one or the other. And then manual and automation. So if you haven't gotten into automation yet, this is your chance. You have to be pretty convincing though to say like, well, I've always been exposed to automation, but you know, I've never had quite as much experience. Well, they need you to have at least a little bit of experience in automation um, or have been in an environment where it truly it's been you know, pretty heavy in implementation. You know, obviously manual testing that was then and now it's more automation. So it's gonna be a cross blend really, but um, comprehensive experience in both would be the most ideal. And then other, you know, perks or pluses to this role, if you have bug tracking tools of Jira and Bugzilla, I love QA names, I love tech names, Bugzilla. Get rid of those bugs, you gorilla, Bugzilla. So, so funny. Okay, and browser testing, if you have browser testing experience within all four browsers, so not just Internet Explorer, really, who uses that anymore? Um, Safari, Chrome, and Firefox. I mean, all four would be, you know, the best for this one. And then experience writing in SQL qu queries and views and stored procedures. And also, um, even if you have a little bit of, you know, programming knowledge in Java, that's a plus. They'll take you in a heartbeat. So all that being said, we rank this gem a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for QA. This is the full gamut here, folks. So next we move on to salary. So salary for this is they're actually targeting around 75 to 80K for a full-time QA senior lead. However, it will go up to 90K. That's, that's pretty darn good. I mean, I've talked to a lot of UQAs and you know, some of you are maybe around there or you've been doing it for 20 years and you're hoping to get there. 90K, you report to the manager. So can't go much more because, well, the manager needs to probably make more than you. <laughs> Let's just be honest about that. So uh, you also will get full paid time off and, and medical benefits and kind of the perks of being in a full-time position. So, um, and lunch breaks, you know, you actually get paid for taking a little break on lunch. Uh, so <laughs> salary, nine out of 10. I rank this nine out of 10. I mean, if it was 100K, yeah, everybody would want more money. Maybe that's a 10 out of 10, but this is pretty darn, you know, good for a QA within Cleveland. We pause. We pause every week because we love to talk and brag about our folks at stingraytech.com. 
They're the video experts. They are the ones that put on this production week after week and they care about our mission. So they'll care about yours. Whatever your dream is about showcasing on the World Wide Web through video and what else? I don't know. Maybe you want to do a live show. Like someday maybe we will. Or maybe you just want to talk about cats on a, you know, <laughs> some video YouTube stream. Whatever that is, Tim and the guys at Stingray Tech, they're awesome to work with. They will totally sign up to film your cat stories um, for sure. But really, um, use them wisely. They're great guys and they have a lot of knowledge. So they do this every week. Thank you so much, Stingray. Okay, <laughs> we move on to that. I think every week my commercials get better and better. Growth, so growth. Um, this is about the growth of the company, the growth of the industry even, and within the growth of the role. So um, they're expanding. This company has had, had its had has its headquarters headquarters in Cleveland for a long time and they're changing it up they're building a new place they're you know adding new features to their their building and adding new people and they're listening to the folks there and what they're looking for in a workplace that's a plus right they also um, you know run a lean ship but you have some big sales so what does that mean well they don't have like a department of 100, 150 QA folks. I think that would be the manager's dream, as he told me at one point. But really, you know, he runs with a, you know, a head count of just 10 to 15 senior guys, and then he's got contractors the rest. So, um, you know, your kind of importance within this department is big. I mean, you're going to be, that's why you're getting paid the big bucks, right? And you're going to be influencing a lot of people. And actually, you have the ability to start off in one little subset of their QA and then work to four to five other departments. And so um, your ability to influence more peers and kind of mentor some of even the younger folks or contractors that come in, um, I mean, it's there. And uh, if you're looking for something like that, high visibility and influence, this is the spot for you. And then they're in process of building and testing one of their newest platforms, which manager said to himself, you know, hey, self, this is probably the future of the company. And he also told us that too. So tons of work to be done. There's exploratory testing, manual automation, mobile, you name it. They're integrating all of that. So with that being said, we rank this a nine out of 10, nine out of 10 on the gem factor scale. Again, pretty high ranking. Okay, flexibility. So flexibility wise, um, I kind of alluded to this. There's that rotating piece, you know, you're not just having experience only in the one small sector or just one, you know, maybe only doing web testing. No, you're actually going to get to mix it up. So you're going to avoid the testing bias, which is I've been testing the same piece for three, six, nine months, 12 years. I don't know. And then when somebody comes along and a new contract come in, comes in and you're thinking, how do they just find a hundred bugs? hundred bucks in my piece of, you know, tests that I've been running in this test case. Well, that's exactly what he doesn't want to happen as manager. He says, you know, he loves to freshen it up so that way you get a fresh perspective. New people are coming in and out. You're able to find, you know, more bugs and make the, really, the whole platform much more efficient. So mix up your day, mix up your season, mix up your afternoon. I don't know. I think that's a really cool thing. I'd want to do that if I was QA, but what does it matter to me? Okay, accessible management is another piece of flexibility. So how many times have you been stuck with something and you go to maybe your lead or your manager and they're like, well, not right now. I just, I'm overworked. I have a hundred people under my team. I just can't do it. Well, that's not this manager, gratefully. Um, very accessible. He, he also says, hey, if you need to talk to the developers, go. Go talk to them. If you need to talk to maybe a couple other managers within the software side, or whatever, go talk to them. Work with the other leads. Do what you have to do to get it done. Um, so flexibility as far as open door policy goes, you can actually get your work done. <laughs> That's great. Um, and then speaking of work, they want you to work hard and they want you to actually be there on site and not take three hours for lunch breaks because you want to get your Manny and Penny done or <laughs> I don't know, walk your dog four times. <laughs> or four miles. So they want you to actually work hard, you know, but there's perks for, you know, kind of working hard. So they have ping pong, they have coffee with 
in their environment. You could run the errand that's going to be right next to their location because it's around a lot of stores. And come back focus. You know, come back and get whatever you have to do out of the way, but come back focus and then work for another few hours or so. So overall, you know, sometimes you're going to have to be there and maybe you will have to work through lunch a little bit, but you know, even more so you'll be there to, uh, you know, work hard and drive out the initiative. So flexibility, nine out of 10, nine out of 10 for flexibility. Oh, and we pause. So we pause again for a little bit more of Emerald advertising. And this is when we feature the recruiter for this position. Well, just wait, this is an awesome recruiter. Ready for this? Do we look alike? Here we are. We look alike. That's my twin. Just kidding. <laughs> that's me. That's me. I'm working on this. Can you tell that's why I'm super pumped this time? Because I'm passionate about this role. Talk to me. Talk to me if you have questions or if you know another QA or maybe you are one and you just really hate your job. Again, talk to me. Talk to me about this role. Kelly at emeraldresourcegroup.com. Kelly with a Y, not with an I. Now the EY, Kelly with a Y at emeraldresourcegroup.com. I'll tell you all that you need to know about this position. And for that matter, you know, feel free to search our career page or Twitter feed, emeraldrg, at emeraldrg for Twitter. You'll be able to, you know, see all that you need to see and more on our web pages. So, all right, we'll move on. We'll move on. Five perks. So perks of this job. Well, Location, location, location. This is not downtown. Woo! That means not a lot of traffic, not a lot of pay for parking and all that. It's in the burbs. You can run your errands, run home on lunch breaks or whatever. I don't know. That's a huge perk. Someone who used to work downtown, live downtown. I appreciate no traffic every now and then. Um, high visibility. We already mentioned it, but I feel like it's important to bring it up again. You're really in front of the QA teams. You're representing, you know, even to the managers, what you've been working on, and even to the CIO. The CIO loves to pop in to all their teams throughout this one organization, and maybe you're even sharing lunch with them every now and then, or he's taking a look at, you know, what your actual team is working on. Pretty cool. Uh, also, stay a while. So. They've had a lot of success with consultants that have come into the organization and then wanted to stay and hang out there forever, <laughs> which that's the most ideal, right? You want to find a place that you can hang your hat and call home, that you work 40 hours or 45 hours a week in. So it's, you know, it's a diverse place. It's kind of like consulting, but internally because you have that rotation of different teams to work with. So um, it's a good place, trustworthy place to hang your hat. The company's not going anywhere. So with that, we give this actually a 10 out of 10 on perks. Um, I said enough, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and last but not least, coolness. So um, I don't know, I thought this was pretty big. Uh, no drama mama. All right, what does that mean, Kelly? Well, they pride themselves on their culture and it's different, you know, it's unique. There's creative folks, there's uh, extreme techies, <laughs> and there's, um, just really award-winning teams there. Really, they've won awards for even security and such. So, uh, you know, they don't like prima donnas that come in and, um, you know, they're, if you like a little bit of diversity, this is the spot for you. I mean, mix up your day, people. Come on, some of you guys just stare and run the same thing. Bug, bug, <laughs> bug, and like, <laughs> might as well mix it up with people that are walking across your face every now and then, so. Uh, that's a coolness factor, I think. That's uh, really keen. Again, no drama. They don't really have a tolerance for it, and um, I think that's a good thing. Also, training. So, um, training potential is you can attend, you know, annual QA conferences here to get better, you know, trained in automation practices. Uh, they're also, you know, weaving in some of the exploratory and some of this mobile testing more and more. You could really be a leader for it, and if you don't understand it, well, then get trained and talk to your managers about it and see what you can do to get that. They're very open to that. And then last but not least, my favorite part, because I'm a travel bug, uh, you actually get to travel abroad up to two times a year for this position. And they have two major hubs. Get you that passport ready. You're going to stamp that because it's you're going. You're going places. And you're going to meet the teams that you're going to be working with you know, a little bit offshore and, and contracting and they're going to be help leading uh, the cases that you've put together. How awesome is that? And it's planned travel. Don't, 
don't get nervous. People are like, oh, I can't leave my dog. I can't leave my dog if I have to leave next week. Well, you can get doggy daycare for months in advance. You'll know when you're gonna be making these trips. So um, you can plan your life around it. Maybe make it a vacation. I don't know, don't tell them I said that, but bring your family along and have them in the hotel room and then hang out with them at night. Whatever the case is, this is pretty cool. We rank it a 10 out of 10 for the coolness factor. So the moment that we always wait for with the jump factor, what is that? Final gem ranking, drum roll please. 57 out of 60, 57 out of 60. That's a high ranking. We don't get many, we don't get many that high. So that must be saying something. Maybe it's because I'm working the job and I'm super passionate about it. That may be a plus, but in any case, your responsibility is to either apply. If you've heard this, apply, send me your resume to kelly at emeraldresourcegroup.com. Find it on our website. Search for others while you're there. See if there's any other ones that, you know, kind of bite whistle a little bit. Uh, we don't really have any other QA roles, so this would be the main one. That, and again, I'm the one that mainly works in QA, so you want to talk to me on that. But also retweet this, share it with your friends. Give us a like, favorite it. <laughs> we appreciate all of that. We appreciate any interaction with this. Um, so, you know, with that, this is the gem factor. We're here every week showing off these gems. <laughs> if you like what you saw, stay tuned for next week. We'll feature a new job. Until then, I'm Kelly Basie. Have a great week.